This is probably the most minimalist and let's call it high-tech wallet I have ever reviewed. I already can see that some of you raised an eyebrow when I said the most high-tech wallet. When you hear high-tech, we obviously think of technology or a lot of cool features. This has none of that. But to me, this is high-tech because of what it is made of and how it is pieced together. This is the Reform RE02 card holder. This very minimalist wallet is made out of this cool material that is called Refine. And just let me quote the website. Refine is a custom chlorosulfonated polyethylene polyethylene synthetic rubber, noted for its extreme durability to chemicals, temperature extremes and ultraviolet light. It does remind me of a, let's say, more grippier form of Hyperlon. And just like Hyperlon, it is welded and not sewn together. But in high stress areas, e.g. where you remove and insert your cards, it is sewn for added strength. This material and the way it is pieced together gives you a lot of confidence that this will hold up a lifetime. Furthermore, it is very lightweight and almost not noticeable in your pants pockets. The rough texture of the fabric for me personally is preferable because it won't accidentally slide out of your pockets. With most aluminium or leather wallets, there is the potential that they are so smooth that they easily slide out of your pockets when you sit down for instance. This won't happen with the reform wallet. There are magnets inside to hold the wallet shut, so outside you have a slot for your most used card. Once you open it, you have two more slots for more cards or bills. I carried seven cards and a few euro bills that you need to fold inside the wallet. According to the website, you can carry up to nine cards which is definitely possible. However, I would not carry more than 7 cards. Also consider cards with raised letters or numbers. Yeah, I would count them as 2 cards. The fabric is amazing and very durable. But compared to other fabrics like leather or let's say rubber, this material does not have any give or wears in over time. It's just that durable. If you overload a slot, you can have a hard time getting to all of your cards. So while you can put more than one card in that quick access outside slot, putting more cards into it will make this quite cumbersome to get to. While the fabric is very durable, in essence this is a soft material or softer than aluminium for instance. Which means that your cards can bend in your pockets if you sit down on it. Which is the main reason why I switched to the extra and secret wallet many years ago. I actually sat on my leather wallet back then and over time my driver's license got bent too many times that it broke. So I do prefer aluminium wallets. Moreover, aluminium is naturally RFID protected. This wallet does not have RFID protection and I personally prefer RFID protected wallets if I am in a crowded area. The Reform RE02 is an amazing wallet. I really like this very modern fabric. The look and the feel is very refreshing and I do believe that this can hold up a lifetime. But this durable fabric won't get a nice used patina like leather for instance. And a used patina on something like leather is something that I, yeah, I like a lot. All of the negative mentioned are not a big deal for most people, but they are important to me. So while I really like this wallet a lot, I personally will go back to my extra wallet. That being said, I still can highly recommend the Reform RE02 wallet if you're looking for a very minimalist wallet and you don't mind those aforementioned trade-offs and if you want something different than a leather card holder. So what's your wallet of choice? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any more questions, also comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss next videos. Also check out my Instagram, second channel and podcast at you know the both. Stay safe and healthy everyone and I see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.